This is Wilson Morales from Black Fury TV talking to the lovely Marianne Bashir regarding her role in season two of Lace, which is currently playing on All Black. How's it going? Wonderful. How are you doing? Good. We're here. You know, the thing I told to tell anybody whenever there's a second season is now there's commitment. Sometimes it's hard to watch a show, especially these days. There's a glut of shows on TV and some of them don't make it past season one. And so people always want to wait to know that they're, it's being renewed and they can commit right away and they can go back and start, you know, because you hate to get invested emotionally on some of these characters. You don't know where it's going to go. So now right. that we're here for season two, for those who have not caught up, where are we now with your character coming into season two? So, well, not only is there a season two, but we are number one, the number one streaming show on All Black. So I just found that out today. I'm very excited about it. Congrats. But- Thank you so much. What can people expect from this season? So it, for people who watch season one, they realize that Lacey is a prolific um, attorney, Los Angeles attorney, who can get things done for anyone else who can make things happen. Uh, the only place that she has a problem is in her personal life where she can't, things are just like spiral out of control sometimes. And so in this season, we're going to see sort of a downward spiral We're going to see Lacey go through um, an FBI investigation, possibly lose custody of her daughter. Um, A lot of her loyal confidants, you know, their loyalty is in question. A lot of things are happening for Lacey. And we're also going to get to see, uh, whereas we got to see more of like the courtroom, the boardroom of Lacey. Now we're going to get to see more of her family, her personal life, her uh, humanness, her vulnerabilities. some major character arcs that go from like all like from the sunken place to all the way to the top <laughs> to back down. and then when just when you don't think it can get any worse it gets worse and it's just you're gonna see a lot this season so basically you know for you as the lead obviously there's a lot of new layers you're getting to explore as an actress so at what point did you feel confident in this role you know sometimes it takes a couple of episodes a couple of you know a couple of rehearsals at what point you're like okay i got this down give me the script i can make it especially for a lead because you're on a lot of pages Mm -hmm. yeah i felt comfortable from the moment i received the script and i knew that it was mine and i knew that i could deliver this character and express this character uh to the best of my ability to the way that i understood her to be and um I always say Lacey is me and I am Lacey. And I just knew that from the beginning. It, there never was a doubt in my mind. So when you say that, what are, what are her traits that people who know you are goes, okay, I can see the similarities. <laughs> She's very different than I am. <laughs> <laughs> but Lacey is scandalous. <laughs> and so many things that Lacey does, I wouldn't do. But she has like a very fiery, spicy side that I admire. And there's a side where she does not give a crap about what anyone says. She's going to get things done. She only, she has uh, an emotionally like dispassionate side where like when it comes to business, it's just all business. It's like feelings, what are those? You know, emotions, what are those? So that is, that's the fun part when you get to play somebody who's kind of different than you, but you can also tap into these like, you know, fantasy emotions that you would do. Like what would Lacey do in this situation? It's fun. (laughs) So- there's not so much of there's not a lot of research you can do, but when you're playing a lawyer, do you, you know, do you do any deep dive as far as, you know, lawyery work and stuff like that? Absolutely. Like I'll talk to friends who are lawyers. I have a specific attorney who I speak to who's um her name is Sue Ann, and she's like this young, beautiful, like black female attorney, and she's so inspirational. And um she I had like long conversations with her, which like I recorded the conversations and just asking her, like, why did you become an attorney? Like what drove you? What are some things that you do, um, you know, as a, as an attorney, what are some of the challenges that you face as like just being a young black woman, people, you know, underestimating you because of, because of her youth, because of her, you know, because she's female, because she's African-American. So um, she told me about a lot of the challenges and things that she goes through, the reasons why she became an attorney. So I draw from that. Um, and I also draw from my own life, you know, Lacey has McCullough and Associates. That's her firm, which is under uh, FBI investigation to see <laughs> a large <laughs> killing. Oh, but that's another story. So she runs a firm like she she is an entrepreneur of sort. And me, myself, after I graduated from University of Michigan, um, I moved to New York, became an actor. But I also have always been an entrepreneur. I have um, 
a brand, Marion Beauty, uh, of uh, cosmetics. So, you know, I myself, I, I know what it takes to like, you know, build a business and like run things. So I draw from that. Um, I draw from just people who I know, men and women, who are just strong characters. And you can say, okay, I'm going to do that. Like something oh. you may know about them, you may say, okay, you know what? I'm going to do that. Because it's in those moments, like the things that, you know, because we are, you know, as human beings, we all have traits. We all have like, uh, you know, things that we do. Maybe it's like a childhood memory or something that happened to us when we were young makes us you know, do something, some kind of characteristic. And those are the things that make the character real for the viewers, you know? So I just try to pull those kinds of things and say, you know, Lacey always does this and just that becomes her character. From what you've done so far, and obviously between different directors and writers, what has improved in your skill set as an actress as you do this and continue to do other projects? So much. Every time I'm on set, I learn so much. Like, it's like, I'm a sponge, you know, like every time I, you know, from doing like, um, for example, like this is my first time being a lead of a television series, right? So I've done like, you know, guest starring roles for like FBI International or like Chicago PD, those kind of shows where, you know, like huge large scale shows that are like, um, you know, these tremendous budgets and like huge cranes and stuff like that. But I never... And I've, and I've led different films, like I've been the lead of different films, but this being the lead of an ongoing television series is a whole new experience um, in understanding the process of acting. Because uh, someone told me, the director of last season, Jamal Hill, he told me like when we came into it, he was like, you know, on day one on our Zoom call, he said, you know, with all the actors and stuff, he said, um, you know, whoever's number one on the call sheet sets the tone for how, this, how it's gonna be on set. So I'm just gonna start with saying that. He learned that from Will Smith. And basically that's just going to say that like, I have to set an example, you know, as the lead, I have to always be on time. I have to always know my lines. I have to give all to every single scene. I have to work 16 hour days sometimes and turn around and get up the next day and do the same thing again. I have to be in a lot of scenes and it's a huge responsibility and it's like, oh, it doesn't like end. Like a film, you have a wrap day and that's it. The TV show you're shooting and you're shooting out of order. So it's like, you may shoot like scene six, you know, episode six, scene three, and then episode one, scene one, like it's just all mixed up. But um, but I learned, I learned so much every time I learned from my fellow castmates. I learned, you know, just from working with different people. Uh, when you work with other like tremendous actors, like you can learn from them, you can work with them and just develop and get better as an actor. It gives you a chance to to really just like, you know, get better, improve, like know, you know, how to have a relationship with the camera, you know, how to, you know, speak, how to express your emotions through just thinking a thought, things like that. I'm learning every day. Speaking of your castmates, you know, there's a big, this is a big ensemble, you know, and so like when you work with this ensemble, you know, at what point do you guys get together to establish a chemistry so that when we see it on screen, we know there's a chemistry between the characters, you know, as we see certain scenes. And that's so important to establish the chemistry. Uh, sometimes it's just there, you know, like when I met uh, Terrell Carter, I met him at the fitting when I first went to LA for season one. And we had the deepest conversation right then and there. Like he got emotional. We were hugging. It was deep. <laughs> And we were like, okay, and he plays my husband, right? So like he plays Mark on the show. So we just already have that chemistry. So you're going to see that on screen. And also if there's like discord between somebody, you're going to see that too. But sometimes it works for the characters. Sometimes it's like, you know, if there's some kind of tension, you, you know what I mean? So it works. But we definitely get together between like, we'll go um, just on outings together, you know, maybe go out to eat or just grab tea together or just, just be in each other's trailers. And we definitely work on the scenes. I, I, I like to before I shoot a scene, especially if like there's a big scene with me and someone else, I like, you know, do you want to come to my trailer? Let's, let's go through the scene several times. Like I like to run things to the ground. I like to run it and run it until we both know it like by heart and we just have it because it's, it's so different when you do that. And then when you don't, you just, sometimes you don't have the opportunity to do that and you go on set and it's just like, you have to build it right there when they say action, you know, and that's when you have to build it. But it's much better when you can actually spend time with the person before and just like establish that. Because the more you do it with them, it's just, the more natural it becomes, just naturally, like just repetition. So, mm -hmm. um, but when you work with such an amazing cast like I do, 
it makes it easy. You know what I mean? It makes it easy to, um, and it was actually hard this season. Like Mark and I were arguing a lot and it's like hard because I'm like, I really, <laughs> you know what I mean? So the job, that, it's the job. <laughs> it's the job exactly, which is why I was able to do it. But you know, it's, it's not, you know, it's sometimes it's more challenging, but usually like when you work with open actors, we're just like, okay, I'm here for you and try to be here for them. It makes it, it makes it seamless, you know? Now, when you're not on the show, what do you do to stay humble where, you know, people, if people, for those who watch the show that, and obviously other projects, they're going to recognize you. And these days through social media, everybody has to be careful yeah. what they, you know, so at what point when the cameras are off, can you be you, you know, where you can relax and not worry about anything else? You know, obviously, you know, if you don't live in LA, that's hard. <laughs> you just can't go anywhere. You can't go to the store, you know, like, what do you do to stay humble? <laughs> I'm just me all the time. Like, I don't ever, I'm never not me. You know what I mean? I'm never, I don't feel like I have to put on a face to be somebody else. Like, uh, so it makes it easy because it's just consistent. You know, I even tell people just in relationships and friendships, like I'm always me. I don't change. Like I stay the same. So um, nothing is going to change me because I realize that it's all bigger than all this stuff. You know what I mean? Like there are things like my family, things that are just so important to me that uh that supersede you know the industry per se you know? so the industry is very important to me it's my livelihood and i love it but it never is gonna make me um just get to the point where i'm just like overwhelmed like i meditate i pray i just you know i make sure i keep just my family close my relationship with god you know those things are the things that are really the real things of life like your family like your loved ones and um and, and also gratitude. I'm just very grateful. I'm very grateful for, for anybody who watches the show. I'm very grateful for, you know, All Black, the network, for, you know, giving us a, 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 a platform to be able to stream. I'm grateful for the showrunners, the creators, the crew, the cast, every single person that it takes to put it together. It reminded myself of that also. It's like, it's not just about you. It's about the team. It's about, like, not only the, even the cast, it's about like, you know, the per the sound, the sound person to make sure your mic is right. You know, it's about the the makeup artist, the hairstyle, the wardrobe design. There's so many people uh that have to come together in unison to be able to make the masterpiece that is lace. Mm -hmm. I always you, said, you mentioned family and obviously and uh, I saw I wasn't I didn't go to Sundance, but I covered it virtually and I saw that you was in your brother's movie. You yes. know, so when are we gonna see that? When is the rest of the world gonna see it? Coming soon. It premiered at Sundance with um Omari Hardwick and Eamon Joseph, Sky P. Marshall. Uh they were like masterful, you know, their performances in that film. Everybody was there was not a dry eye in that in that uh screening room. It was so deep. And so they're, you know, they're in the process right now. It's coming soon. Um I'm not sure exactly, you know, when it's going to come out, but I'll definitely keep you guys posted, you know, just through my Instagram and let you know exactly like when it comes out, where you can see it. It's a phenomenal film. Everybody should see it. With your brother being a director and you being an actress, was it always in the genes for both of you to be in this business? Um, I think like my my journey has been like acting kind of found me. And um, my brother has always just like shot stuff, like just, you know, in my mom's living room, like, you know, just little projects. Like he just has always wanted to do that and has always done that. I, I kind of like was kind of discovered by acting. And um, after moving to New York, after graduating from school, um, I just, it kind of found me. But I mean, sometimes it coincides where like, you know, like I played in that film, the lead character's sister, his little sister. And that was um, Amen Joseph. And, um, you know, it kind of was natural, you know, sometimes it works, but like he, he does a lot of his own stuff and I do a lot of my own stuff. And sometimes it like, you know, comes together. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's, he's a great filmmaker though. At the end of the day, as I mentioned before, there's a lot of product on TV, whether you choose to go to the movies, but there's, a, you know, if you're not going to movies, we have options, you know, oh. and <laughs> uh, you know, some actors always tell me that, like, they don't go looking for stuff because, you know, if you turn on your TV, you, there's a glut of channels. Usually they get recommended things to watch. What's going to to watch Lace? What's it, it, what did you say? What's going to? What's going to get people to start watching Lace? Whether they start watching now or continue to watch it. Oh, my gosh. Lace is so dramatic. If you like drama and if you like 
scandal and if you like um you know just it's a racy edgy drama just I mean I, I would I watch it if I weren't in it it's an amazing show I mean just watch the first episode you'll see and then just to know that it's getting better and better and better like just the up level from season one and season two and then hopefully season three it'll just continue to get better you know you're gonna fall in love with the characters you're gonna just you're gonna hate some of the characters you're gonna love some of the characters even like some people are gonna hate her some people are gonna love her that's just the way it is. So I think having those strong characters with the backstory and, you know, things that people can fall in love with, that's going to make people want to watch the show. And then the storyline is incredible. The storyline has always been amazing. That's why I knew from mind that I want to do this show. The storyline is what sold me. Congrats on the role. Obviously, as the lead, if there's a season three, at least we know you're coming back. Yes. <laughs> you know, so keep it going. We're here to support. Whatever you got next, just take care of yourself. We'll see you down the road. Thank you so much. I appreciate you having me, Wilson. Take care. Bye.